Rooting for Bob Jago, and who's rooting for LCD? Type in one for LCD, type in two for Bob Jago. Let's go. There we go. Bob Jago still staying very faithful to Jago. Dealing with the with the major changes that he's undergone. And LCD ever uh not so, not so much faithful to Jago. Moves on to Orchid and has a lot of buck grenades. <laughs> oh that actually did I wanna say like eight percent. That was a low DP. Here we go. If Bob Jago can make great usage of his instinct right here. Here he goes. That's going to be 10%, 12%. Oh no, he got caught tossing another into Kukin, but no combo. Oh no, misses a very vital Shadow Counter. And now all of that instinct gone is going to hurt him. He will only gain instinct now if he's at least 50% red health. And LCD hasn't even gotten his own. So this is going to be one hell of an uphill battle, especially with these changes. It's going to be a huge uphill battle. Oh, nice shadow counter. And, oh, Bob Jago misses the combo break. Oh my goodness. Bob Jago still has a great chance here. If he's able to break this next one. Oh no. And LCD taking the first game very convincingly. Holy crap. It's okay. You never want to count on any of these players. Second. Another grenade. He's gonna be in block stun. Oh, he can actually afford to go uh, to go in like that since the grenade will interrupt the Bob Jago in any way possible. So that definitely gives Orkin many, many more ways to get in on the opponent now. Oh, does oh there it is. That was the opening into a throw. Doesn't fall for the counter breaker, but gets broken. Oh, another overhead. LCD known for his his many overhead usages with Orchid. Boom. A strong and a nice counter breaker. I believe Bob Jago will not survive this because that is a, a true level 5 ender. And just like that, this is game point now. LCD with a huge dominance. Huge health lead. Ooh, gets caught. The Vutsi battle with Orchid is very, very dangerous with with Jago. Especially after the wing kick uh, uh, hitbox being shortened by accident. It's definitely going to prove to be a lot harder. Oh, there, that's that was his opening right there. That was his golden opportunity. I'm not sure if he'll be able to find another one. This is going to hurt. Oh, nice break. Oh, no. Gets caught again. Oh. He needs to activate that instinct. This Oh, gets broken. Oh no, another overhead and great freaking games to both players. Mr. Bob Jago, thank you so much for playing with us, dude. It's so happy to see you. Uh, so happy to see you still playing Jago stronger than a fan favorite for this one. Handsome, you better not let them down, man. You best not let them down. Oh! Oh my goodness, nice grab. Oh! Ow! Got it! Oh my gosh, again! Was that it? I don't even know what that was. Was that a light? Holy crap. That was two wake-ups. Alright. Alright, gotta just do sheer damage. Oh my goodness, right in my face. Okay, here we go, here we go. Gotta come back. Oh! No! Oh, too early. He did that way too early. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, it's not over! Oh. Jesus, I'll never find- I'll never ever see that coming, man, no matter what. Oh. He's been rushing me down all all the way in the first round. I gotta get used to that. Big time. Oh god! Woo! I've seen that. Oh! How do I break? Oh! Oh my god. Oh! That hurts! Oh my goodness. Oh! Damn, that comes out so fast! I think that's as fast as a DP, I'm not sure. I have barely done anything to this man. Oh, good stuff. Oh, God! Oh, man, that hurts. Whoa! What the? <laughs> oh god! I got lucky there. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? I should have done instinct. God, nervous, 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 nervous! My God! No! Oh! I don't know what anything is. I'm afraid. Oh! Oh my goodness! Great freaking games, handsome! Holy crap! My hands are sweating like crazy right now. Woo! Damn! So Spat is gonna switch to TJ. Amazing. Ooh! Nice. What is that called? The Tremor? The Tremor Punch? Ooh. Oh. 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 I'm gonna try to call out what buns he are gonna, he's gonna be pressing for the auto barrage. And you guys let me know if I get it right. Light. Strongs? Strong? Strong. Light, light. Strongs. I think I'm kind of getting it right. What's up, Jadu? Oh, nice grab. Now, is that an actual command grab? Or can you actually tech it with a regular throw? Did I see my... No, I did not, Jadu. Are you talking about C's or CDN? Did I see that? Oh, nice, nice break. Oh, that's so good. Boom. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think I definitely need to just fool around with TJ to see what, what his auto barrages are, what they look like for heavies and stuff. It's a command grab. Okay. Yeah, I kinda figured. A lot of a lot of people told me it, it was a regular grab so you can tech it, and I was just like, it's not working. <laughs> and then yeah, I kinda figured it was a command grab. Thanks for the confirmation. <laughs> oh! Oh my gosh, Spada's on a rampage right now. I don't like it. He's gonna have to use that instinct, but I don't think he's gonna have. Wow. Very dominating victory by Spada. Ready? Ready for it? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I think there shouldn't be any tournaments for season two until October fifteenth because right now there's like a flurry of bugs that we're finding. You know what I mean? What happens if uh, Orchid runs into a Sidira in the tournament? Does the grenade glitch and instantly knocks out Sidira? What are they gonna do about that? You can't really do anything about that. <laughs> what the hell? What in the freaking hell, Jadu, am I looking at? Uh, 
My face is gone. Adelan, andale. I don't know. My hands is all weird. That hot dog's hella long though. That is one long hot dog. Oh oh. Oh uh oh. Leg Legend is coming back. And Legend still hasn't utilized his instinct. There it is. Can he? Oh. Now, if that could have, if that was a, a liquid eyes, I think it would have the same effect. It would still dodge whatever the heck Tichi Combo was doing at that moment. Now, Spat is on the prowl. He's just trying to. Oh my goodness! Every single piece of damage that Spat is taking right now is going to be more of a disadvantage in the next round. Oh! Oh my goodness! The shadow. Nice break. Spat needs to actually end this round, and Legend will not let him. Oh! Okay, this is gonna be... Well, then again, TG Combo does have the Resurrect, so we'll see what Legend will uh, uh, do if he has to deal with it. Oh. Alright, he here it is. Here's the uh, the Resurrect. He probably doesn't know about it. Wake up, Legend! Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, how did he know? Oh, that was a nice, oh my goodness, a nice roll in the shadow. Oh no, it gets caught. Oh man, this does not look good here. Oh, oh the jabs. The Muhammad Ali. Oh no, the pokes. Legend coming back in the second game. It is now even. Guys, Glacius hurts. Glacius really hurts. All right. There we go, man. It's even between these two folks. By the way, guys, um, I think you already know by now, if you do lose, that's when you can actually change your character. If you do win, you have to stay as the same character for that game. Oof. Mm-mm. What's up, large man? Oh man, these. Oh! That's gonna hurt. Here we go. Let's see if he. Oh my goodness, how did he know? Was that a light? Where did Legend. Did. What the hell? Legend just leveled up like a hundred times. Here we go. Oh, misses the auto barrage. That hurts. 44? 41%. He, he could have. And he could have kept going. It's ridiculous. Okay, well, again, Spada does have a chance to come back. He does have his instinct, and most likely he will probably be saving it for a resurrect. And Legend is still on him, 50% green health. Stopping TG combo. Ooh. Oh, another one, why not? And that actually does knock him out, uh, not, that actually knocks him down anywhere on the screen, which is amazing. This is not looking good for Spada at all. There it is, another knockdown. Oh, nice cross up. Oh my gosh, this is gonna hurt. Oh my goodness. Oh, nice slow. And that's gonna end it. Spada has one hell of a chance to come back. He has two chances to come back. And Legend is, there is the instinct. Uh, there's the instinct. Oh my gosh, breaks through it. This is his chance right now. Oh, two jabs. Not sure if he wants to get something else out of that. Gets grabbed. Legend has him where he wants him. And that's going to be... That's going to activate TJ Combo's instinct. Boom. There it is. Now... Oh, this is his chance. Will he be able to come back from this? Oh, my God. The breaks. Oh, my gosh. That still beats it out. Amazing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my... The, the amount of breaks this man is... I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Uh, it's so close. He's going to have another instinct bar. Oh my God, he got grabbed and the instinct is activated. <gasps> oh, what's he going to, oh my, <laughs> oh my God, Spada. Fighting with no help, hanging from a thread the entire time and Legend holding him back. kind of taking a step backwards, but it's okay. Come on. Come on. 
Shintristan, what's up, bud? How are you doing tonight? All right, this is this is interesting. We we saw this earlier. Let's see if these guys can uh, uh, do anything different uh, from what was happening in my match. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, I would assume Moldybot has tons of practice with TJ. Oh, nice. Jumping around. Oh, he actually caught him. That's very interesting. I'm not sure if that will work all the time since TJ Combo can do that kind of sort of meaty, but if he does screw up, you can actually just throw him out of it. What? Oh, nice roll. Nice break. I'm not sure. Yeah, those linker types, they're they're all the same exact speed. Two, three, four, five. Nice knee. Reminds me of the double dragon knee. Oh, great punish. I, I'm assuming that that wasn't safe at all. Oh. Oh, Moldybutt's in big trouble here. I'm, I would assume Moldybutt is saving his instinct for another resurrect. Guys, let me know. Is it more is it more wise to save TJ Combo's instinct for a resurrect or to actually use it in between rounds? That's what I've been noticing from a lot of TJs. They would just save it for uh, a resurrect every time. Oh man, clunky virus. The jumps. Moldybutt needs to any or every single one of those things. All right, here we go. So he has a total of forty percent health with that resurrect. I mean, like added on to what how much he has right now. Oh, that was a very risky standing roundhouse, I believe. Oh, did that punish? No, it did not. Oh, he, he did not fall for the shadow counter. Nice. Oh my goodness. Oh, he baited out, but oh, there it is. Oh my goodness, so many great openings yet. Oh my gosh, missed the ultra. It's a big trouble. That's gonna trip. Great stuff to Clunky Virus. Oh, that's not true. Alright. Oh. So far, the way that I see this matchup is you really have to be careful with Jago's uh, crouching attacks because the rolls will not cut it. So I would assume like the overhead would be a nice way to get in. Guys, confirm if you will. Can you actually cancel uh, TG Combo's overhead punch or Superman punch into something else? Yeah, Moldybutt feeling extremely comfortable with his tremor punches. Oh, no fear. No fear, abs absolutely no fear at all. One, two, three, four. Oh, Here comes the fireballs. Th way too close for comfort. Oh my gosh, stops him. This is going to hurt if he's able to complete this combo. Oh, oh my goodness, how much damage. Oh my gosh. I don't think uh, a combo break would have definitely been way risky at that time. Oh my gosh, the flying knee. Clunky Virus is just hanging on for dear life. Moldybutt has full red health and meter. All full meter for instinct. Clunky Virus is going to have to go to work with no kind of instinct whatsoever, man. Just relying on basic fundamentals. Oh, and that trade took him out. Great games. The uh, learning each other's habits. Oh, oh. Sorry for it. It might be desyncing just a little bit. There we go. 
Fierce for the Superman, then roll, then strong for roll. Okay, interesting. Oh, still gets knocked out with the DP. Multibot is gonna have to play way more careful right now. Clunky is showing that he has no fear for the wake up DPs. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, just not completed, but. Uh oh. Oh, very nice break. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. When when hands meet. When fists touch. Avoids the overhead. Still gets broken out. My goodness. I cannot tell if these are extremely lucky breaks or if these guys are just reading each other like books right now. Jab, jab. Mullibet has no health at all. Oh my goodness. This is an early lockout. Can he do some major damage here? Uh, I believe that's 40? 33? Doing my math wrong here. How are you doing, bud? Oh my goodness. Moldy but is just oh my goodness he, he just needs to confirm every time he gets an opening like that all of those missed opportunities it, it, oh my that would have ended it that could have ended it he's still going this might be it for Moldy but's first uh, red health we get that resurrect one more piece of chip oh my gosh stops him there's a lot of there's a lot of drop combos there's a lot of sloppy joes right now tons of sloppy joes all right, this is Moldybutt's chance, man. He's been holding on to that, that bar, and Clunky's just giving him the fireballs of the century. What is going to go? Oh my gosh. These guys are just breaking each other over and over again, but you don't see a long combo between these two. Oh my gosh, and there it is. Clunky moves on. Yeah, that was very hard. to West Africa. No, no team tournament tonight. We'll talk about that later. Jago Jago. Interesting. bit of a, a sound decent but it should it should correct itself in momentarily there we go so far these guys are playing a very 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 basic um, uh, game style since the universal mechanics or the universal manuals are out of question now right now Blake is actually gonna be suffering this quite a lot because not only sake is gonna get a lot of meter but Blake is now gonna have to save his instinct uh, for another opportunity to gain some help in the red help. Heartbreak 1, what's up, man? Oh, here we go. And in those fireballs, this is going to be Stanky's. Oh, does not confirm into Shadow Fireball. Oh my gosh, gets caught. Stanky, this is Stanky's benefit right now. He can gain a lot of health from this. Oh my gosh, very nice Shadow Counter. Stanky's in big trouble. And now that completely... But Stanky's instinct in useless now. So now it, it's become even, just like that. The the value of, of, of Jago's instinct is so incredibly high, you do, do not want to lose it um, before the round ends. You need to utilize it as much as possible. And just like that, things are even. Nice block. Oh! Oh! Taking the chance! Very nice break. Oh my goodness, these two players. Very nice walk up forward, crouching low and to uh, confirm, and this is going to just deal basic damage. He might go for battery ender. No, he goes for sheer damage. And that overhead connects, but does not manual it. Oh my goodness. Great shadow counter with the forward roundhouse. Here he goes. We'll leave dude meter gain. There is meter gain. 
Both players barely at instinct, but Blake is at more of a dangerous spot than ever. And that is still doesn't give it, I would actually block that fireball to actually gain the instinct uh, benefit once again. But from there on, manages to get slipped up by Stanky. Let's see what happens next. throw and that's something I, I wouldn't be surprised seeing a lot of in uh in these matches maybe a month from now since uh jago's universal manuals is not quite reliable to go by anymore that there would be a lot more th throw resets for a lot of that uh guaranteed damage these guys are playing it very slow right now um respecting each other's footsies range and that with one swift shadow counter blake's very patient play Oh, another roundhouse. Stanky could have shot a counter that, but decided to press a button instead. And there, a counter break. Feels comfortable enough to counter break now. Stanky's trying to switch it up with just some throws. And another shadow counter. Very great stuff. Awesome stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How many times did Blake shadow counter for roundhouse? He's been on point with that. that. That's what happens when you're super, super patient. You can see those coming from a mile away. It's much easier since you're not multitasking too much. Oh, oh. He's not able to end uh, Blake's green health there. With every bit of damage Stanky takes here, it's going to be more of a disadvantage. Stanky needs to find a way to get in. One Dragon Punch can actually do it. Blake wants to use this opportunity to gain all this health. He might be able to. Oh, no. Oh, only 2%. And that's going to be a great punish. Great answer by Stanky. And that renders Blake's instinct completely useless. Bringing this match almost back to even. Stanky having half instinct. Oh, nice jump roundhouse. But nothing. No combos yet. Oh my goodness. If, if he actually did a light wind kick, that would have actually missed. Oh my goodness. That's going to hurt. Stanky needs that instinct. And just like that, he doesn't want to risk with any kind of wake up shenanigans. And oh, almost. Oh no. Oh my goodness. That could have been it. Oh no. And Blake comes out with the shadow wind kick. No fear from this man. Great games to both players. Great freaking games. Fourth like this, it's usually the last game where they can finally read each other's habits to the best, giving each other a lot more time. Oh, nice, nice DP that did a ton of damage. Oh my goodness, his Stanky is already at at half already. Like doing a great job in the defensive game. Oh, nice DP. Oh. With every Dragon Punch, man, these guys lose chunks of health right now. Nice break. There hasn't been any kind of crazy counter break uh, attempts that have been successful yet either. Trying to feel each other out. Not so much in the footsie range, just trying to look for a jump or something. Oh, nice, nice jump fierce. Oh! Oh my goodness, misses another manual. Blake is has has his instinct locked and loaded. Oh, that would have been it right there. That would have been the uh, the activation of that instinct. A lot of openings here. This player's playing is so safe. He's moving in. Stanky taking the initiative. Oh my gosh, with that one chance break, barely does any kind of damage whatsoever, and that's going to end. It's going to gain a lot, just 4%. He could have actually done uh, a Shadow Fireball to gain way more, but... Oh! Blake trying to find some good... Oh my goodness, one, two... Oh! Stanky does not fall for it. Nice punish! My goodness. What's going to happen? Oh! Blake 
He's trying to show that he does not want to have any kind of comfortable room to move around with that instinct. And just like that, Stanky under pressure uses Shadow Wind Kick. Unfortunately, Stanky will not be able to utilize his instinct for any kind of extra health right now. And has to go back to the basic side. And Blake is sitting on good meter. And if he does get damaged, he knows he'll be able to fall back onto instinct. But any oh my goodness. Very nice bait. One, two, three, four, five. If Sankey can deal enough damage here, Blake might be in big trouble here. Blake still does not have instinct. If if he locks out once in a heavy combo, this might end it. But Stanky's still in big trouble. Blake can still... Oh my goodness. Will this be it? No, it can't. Not enough damage yet. Oh my gosh. One more mix-up. One more hit. Ends it. Or one fireball. Stanky's trying to be careful here. Oh, and a walk-up. Crouching medium. Amazing, amazing stuff by these two Jagos, man. Amazing stuff. And my controller. Hi, everyone. Uh, dislikes just for this one time or a couple of these seconds while the mister is out doing his business. I don't know what the heck he's doing. But hey, everybody. I don't know. Okay, bye. I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. So it seems like already Caddy's on a full domination right now. Rotoquake is trying to make his way back in. Oh, oh, very nice meter usage. Wow. Holy crap. Rotoquake from Honduras. Oh my goodness. Does not get touched in the entire red bar. Holy crap. Just like that, man. Go. Oh my goodness. Caddy is in big trouble here. Oh, 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 and he does the infamous unbreakables. Caddy did the infamous unbreakables. I didn't think we'd see that tonight. But it doesn't seem to phase Rotoquake at all. Uh oh, this is it right here. This is the last chance. And that's. Will that be able to end it? Yep, just like that. Great stuff to both players. I believe that's one zip. I'm afraid your path ends here. Oh, misses the jump around house. Alright, jump fierce. Oh! Oh no. We notice he got another skull off of that. Oh! Very nice. Good break. throw Ooh. Cracking strong every single poke does does do great damage here so every time they keep poking each other like that it may take a while until a player realizes how much health is gone oh nice throw Kool-Aid, just like that, is on game point. Whoa, that was a lot of jabs. They did the hoagie. Oh. Oh my goodness. No fear. No fear. No fear! You can actually break that, by the way. The, the Shadow Fireball doesn't have to actually hit. Ooh. Oh, just barely misses it. Oh my goodness, that was an amazing absorb with the teleport to punish. Oh my goodness, that, that was super risky. He actually sat there, absorbed two fireballs, and decided to teleport afterwards. Anything could have happened there. Oh my, what? That was a crouching Jago. He was able to jump up 
as he was ascending, he was able to do a fierce, and that still hit. Reminds me of Sagat's uh, jumping uh, medium kick. Oh, it's like an instant overhead. Oh my goodness, got hit. Oh, tried for the counter breaker. Great games to both players. Awesome games. Wow. <coughs> that was amazing. Great stuff, guys. So, Caddy moves on. We'll move on Alright, here we go. Let's try this again, guys. Menzo versus Mini Big Jab. I'm from the USA. I'm Peruvian, but I was born here. Somos peruanos aquí. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And what? Oh Jesus. There's. Oh god. DPs. Everywhere. Wow. Well, so far, Mini Big Jeff is now on the super offensive. Before the match actually got disconnected, Menzo was on a huge rampage. Wow. Mini Big Jeff not showing any kind of pace to slow down right now. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. And that was. Yikes. And that. Holy crap! Menzo switching to Glacius. This is interesting. Liquidizes two times and ends it with a puddle punch. Dodokai, how are you, sir? How are you doing, man? Oh my goodness! And this is a complete reverse of what we were, what we've been watching the whole time. Wow! The announcer didn't even say ready. Nice liquid eyes. Oh, there we go. Perfect usage of liquid eyes. Super fast recovery. Super fast startup. I, I don't think you can throw him out of it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Ooh, felt very confident enough to counter break. But no, Mini Big Jeff does not fall for it. He's trying to stay on Menzo 110%. But the issue here is at, the more times he keeps trying to rush him down, Menzo has these other setups to kind of push off opponents off him and so far mini big jeff has been getting hit by every single one of them he's able to deal some damage but mini but at the sacrifice of a lot of his own and that might be able to end it good games at menzo oh pretty e pretty don't what are you doing typing <laughs> and that was the last time we ever heard of pretty e. confusing well, how are you today Alright, let's see if, if Mini, Big Jeff, Mini Big Jeff can turn around. Menzo just switched to Glacius and basically showed a repeat of what happened in the first round, but with him winning. Incredibly, incredibly offensive. Oh, here we go. Menzo dealing a level 4. That's actually a level 4 right there. This is every shadow uh, damage ender adds an extra ender to the bar. Oh, that hurts. Mini Big Jeff has to do something. That is great. He got 10% back. And Menzo. Oh. Oh. And that's an extra 4%. Damn, Darnies. That's that's what's up, man. I hope you get into the lab and just go ham with that stick, man. That sounds awesome. Wow. It is now almost dead even. Mini Big Jeff has almost 50% instinct. Menzo. Same exact health. So the same kind of mirror. Oh, oh! The strong. Oh! One, two, three, four, five. That hurts. Me, Big Jeff has another instinct bar. This can prove to be very troublesome for Menzo if he doesn't watch what he's doing here. But Menzo does have the pokes. He has the shatters. He can make it happen. Oh, man. Oh, that misses. Oh, that's going to hit. Oh, my goodness. The last break, that's going to reward 2% health. Oh, very great decision by Menzo. Awesome stuff. Pretty red light. I'm drawing responsibility for a 